Okay, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Fanshawe College's virtual open house session for the Business Fundamentals Program. My name is Brad Kerr, and I work in the Reputation and Brand Management Department of Fanshawe, and I'll be your host for today. So thanks for joining us. So before we begin today's session, um, just some housekeeping items. So we, uh, this uh, audience webcams and mics are turned off for the session. So it's just like a live stream. If you have questions, you can post them after and we'll answer them after the presentation. Um, if you do have any questions throughout the session, please submit it with the questions feature. Uh, to open that feature, just click on the question mark on your screen. You'll probably see it, uh, I think on the right hand side there. And then following the session, uh, we'll have a live Q&A with myself and Penny Parker, who's the coordinator of the program. Uh, and we'll do our best to get through all the questions that you've submitted. And then um, we also recommend if you have any uh, other programs running on your devices right now, maybe shut those off just to make sure the streaming is the best quality as possible. And that's about it. So uh, we're gonna run a presentation first here that Penny's put together for us. Um, she's the coordinator of the Business Fundamentals Program. So lots of information you'll hear about the program. And then that's about 10 minutes. Uh, and then after that, we'll be back for a live Q&A following the presentation. So if you have any questions, pop them in the chat there. I'll start the presentation and we'll go from there. So stay tuned for one sec here. Hello there, and welcome to the virtual open house at Fanshawe College. I'm going to be focusing on the Business Fundamentals Program, which is a two semester certificate program here at the college. My name is Penny Parker, and I'll be the moderator for this session. I am the coordinator of the Business Fundamentals Program and have been for the past few years. So I hope that I can answer uh, any questions following this uh, that you may have about the program. Before we get started, there are a few things that I am supposed to go through with you. First off, please make sure that your webcam and your microphone are turned off during this and any other sessions that you uh, attend. Use the questions feature uh, to ask questions uh, during this session. Uh, we'll do our best to cover all the questions that you may have. If you have any questions about other topics, um, please check out the other sessions or email us at myfuture at fanchasi.ca. So sit back and enjoy the business fundamentals presentation. What is the business fundamentals program about? Well, this program was designed to provide you with a solid uh, base for either entering the business world directly upon graduating or for continuing on into one of our business diploma programs. So what will you study in this program? Over two semesters, you will take courses that provide you with a foundation for a variety of business related topics. We have courses in customer service, business communication, both written and verbal, mathematical applications, computer applications such as Word, Excel, and PowerPoint application programs, introduction to accounting, business processes, and marketing. At the present time, this program is only being offered at the London campus. There are, there were plans for it to be offered in Godrich as well, but we've deferred that now until September of 2021. What are some of the career opportunities for graduates of this program? We have graduates working in many areas of business, in customer service and support, office administration, sales and marketing. One of the great things about Fanshawe College is that the programs offered provide pathways for graduates into furthering their education. For business fundamentals graduates, after you've obtained your certificate, you would have a 2.0 GPA or higher. 
you then have direct entry into men, one of many of our two-year business diploma programs, such as accounting, marketing, supply chain management, insurance, HR, to name a few. At that point, once you've finished your two-year diploma, well, actually, you have three semesters to complete to get that two-year diploma. And then once you've finished that, if you're still wanting to stay at Fanshawe and continue your education, you have a couple of more options. You can continue on if your GPA is 3.0 or higher and you want to obtain an advanced diploma in one of the programs that you have taken. For example, the accounting program, a two-year business diploma, then has a third year as an advanced program. If you have the appropriate uh, academic credential, you can then go on in accounting and obtain that third year diploma. Marketing, I believe, has the same HR business. So again, many of our diploma programs offer that pathway into an advanced diploma. We also offer to our graduates of our two year programs, if your GPA is 3.5 or higher, and you wish to apply to one of our um, BCom degrees that we have here at Fanshawe, you would then have to have, as I said, a GPA of 3.5 or higher, and you would be looking at an additional uh, five semesters or two and a half years to obtain a degree in that program. You would also um, have a one semester co-op work term included with that. The other option are for our students that have gone the pathway of getting an advanced diploma, they too can transfer or apply to transfer into one of our BCom degrees with a 3.5 or higher GPA. And at that point, you're looking at an additional three academic semesters plus the one co-op work term. Now at Fanshawe, we have a bookstore and for any of the programs, you will you are expected to check your, your textbook list. You can acquire the books uh, through the bookstore directly. Online, uh, due to COVID, many of our, our courses now offer an online or an e-text version of their textbooks, but you wanna make sure you check out the uh, college um, bookstore. So who can provide you with help if you uh, need assistance here while you're here at Fanshawe in the Business Fundamentals program or in any other program? Your professor is your first, is your first contact. If you're having any questions about your course or other areas of your program, please ask your professor. Other than that, you have your coordinator, someone like me. If you're not in, in any courses that I am teaching, I'd be more than happy to answer any of your questions about the Business Fundamentals program. You have an academic, academic advisor and she uh, will be someone that you want to talk to. Let's say, for example, if you run into trouble and you failed a course and you're not quite sure of the progression through your program, you might want to meet with our academic advisor, um, Katie. Peer tutoring. Quite often, your your uh, fellow students are a great resource for you for help. Um, if you've missed something in class, if you're needing help working on uh, something as a, as a team uh, or in a group setting, consult with your peers. We have the Learning Center, which is another very valuable resource at Fanshawe. We provide assistance to you for math, writing skills, accounting, even economics. At the present time, because we're all online, these appointments are available through WebEx. I believe there are also some uh, of our Learning Centre staff uh, at the Learning Centre here at Fanshawe. And counselling. Counselling is another area that you may um, require if you're having uh, issues uh, with, your, with your studies and you feel that you'd like to meet with a counsellor. By all means, they are also available and very, very anxious to help. So there are many services at Fanshawe. We have a, a great student union um, organization at the college. They promote several activities, events during the year. 
Um, maybe not so much during COVID, but they are still there for you. And here's a complete list of the services available to you um, on behalf of the Fanshawe Student Union. One of the many great things about being a, a student at Fanshawe College is that you're provided with free access to the Microsoft suite of products. And as a student in the business school, I would think that this is something that you're very interested in and uh, welcome. <laughs> now, something that may not be applicable for you as a student in the business fundamentals program, if you're not planning to be on campus at all. But if you are, please know that we have put great um, safety precautions in place as a result of the COVID virus. Um, we require people to have training before they get to the campus. You have to wear a mask and many other um, precautions are have been put in place. So please know that we are looking out for your safety and the safety of all of our students in doing this. So that's about all that I have. I'm sure you want to check out some of our other sessions, um, but if you have any more questions about the Business Fundamentals program, please feel free to email me at the address that you see there. And if you have any other questions about Fanshawe, again, email us at myfuture at fanshawec.ca or book an appointment with one of our recru recruiters. I know they're all ready, willing and able to help you. So thank you for uh, attending my session and uh, the best of luck for you in your academic career at Fanshawe College. Bye for now. Okay, some great information there on the program and some opportunities for students from Penny. Um, that was great. Thanks so much, Penny. So we're going to move to the live Q&A uh, portion. So again, if you want to ask a question, just submit it with the questions feature there and it'll pop up for us um, and we will do our best to answer. We've got about 20 minutes left or so. Um, and uh, as Penny had mentioned, if you have questions after, we'll post some contact information that you can connect with us there as well. So uh, it doesn't look like we have any questions yet, Penny, um, from anyone. So we'll just watch for that. Okay. But, I don't know if there was anything anything else that you wanted to chat about um, outside of your program that, or outside of your presentation, I should say. Um, the one thing that I did forget to um, mention um, were the specific courses that you will be studying in level one and level two uh, of the program. I have a little slide here. I don't know if uh, Brad, you could switch me so that I could share that. Yeah, we can do our okay. best. <laughs> Stand by here. We'll uh, okay. get you switched. Okay. See if we can figure that out. Okay, I've switched you. Can you show over. my screen? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I should uh, go to that, and then I should be able to just open up. There we go. Yeah. Can you see that? I can see that. Yep. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, so in the, in the first semester, I mentioned uh, in my presentation that we have uh, courses in uh, customer service, a computer course, uh, mathematics courses, and communications courses. So in level one, um, everyone that comes to Fanshawe takes a reading writing assessment and so if you for whatever reason are not successful with that sorry with that test you have to do a test before you actually start the program so if you aren't successful with that no worries because your level one courses include the writ 1032 um, course at 1034 for our international students and that course will give you quite a bit of uh, experience in writing and assessing your writing and improving your writing uh, to, to help you throughout the program. The first course that you see listed there, the College Orientation and Success, that's a, all of these courses, by the way, are three hours a week. 
So the college orientation and success, this course is designed to help you um, build on your previous study skills and uh, again, help you manage your time uh, for purposes of, of doing well in all of your courses. We also have a customer service course where we get into doing a lot of role playing and teaching you various skills when dealing with uh, customers. We have talking business, which also does a lot of role playing, getting you so that you have you know, a good foundation for working in the business industry. The information management, this is our computer course that I mentioned. Uh, it includes exposure to uh, Word, to Excel, and to PowerPoint. So you get all three of those uh, applications in that program, and you'll find that the Excel portion especially um, you're going to be using in a lot of your business courses, whether you go on into um, you know, the accounting program, the marketing program, all of our programs, if you decide to go on, would all require you to have you know, at least some basic skills in Excel. The Word um, for communication and the PowerPoint also, because a lot of uh, courses, you are also required to do a presentation. So using your PowerPoint skills will come in handy there. The mathematic uh, fundamentals, uh, if you're struggling with math or you know it's never really been your thing, you'll find that this course provides you with a really good foundation uh, for mathematical applications. We've got some excellent teachers that teach this math course and believe me, if you were struggling before with math, you will, you will be able to uh, complete um, whatever is put in front of you in this course. I, I know we've had quite a bit of success uh, for students there. In the next semester, we have uh, level two. So this is where you'll have your accounting course, uh, which I teach, by the way. Uh, my background is in accounting, so this is the course in the program that um, I teach every semester. We also have an uh, introduction to business processes, which gives you a bit of a, uh, an exposure to many areas of business that you might not get um, in any one course. It just has an overview uh, of a business operation. Business math, again, uh, building on your math skills from level one. You'll get an introduction to marketing uh, in this level as well. So many of our students actually go on into the marketing program. So this would be the first of many of the principles type courses for marketing that you'll get. It's the same with accounting. If you go on in accounting, the course that you get in this program acts as the uh, introduction to that uh, discipline. And then finally, uh, a, a writing course, um, a communication, sorry, business communication course, where again, you'll be asked to uh, do some presentations. And again, building on your previous um, communication and writing skills from level one. So I just wanted to share uh, that detail with you if I had the chance. And uh, there you go. <laughs> sure. So we have a question here from Carol. Um, Carol's asking, what is the benefit of taking this program as opposed to the two-year diploma uh, business programs? Okay, that's a very good question, Carol. Uh, should I go off screen here now uh, with yeah, this? Yeah, I can switch it okay, back. Okay, okay. Um, the benefit for this program, and that's an excellent question. I'm glad someone asked it because sometimes what happens is a student will take this program and really they should have been into one of the diploma programs already. This is recommended for people that, a um, couple of scenarios. Uh, first of all, we may have students enter this program directly from high school. And let's say, you know, your courses in high school, you didn't do very well on, you don't have the math requirement for or to, for, for entry into one of the diploma programs just yet. Perhaps your math, um, you know, you, you may have passed, but not very well. Um, a mature student who's been out of school for many years, we get a lot of people that have come back to school that want to take sort of a pre-business to freshen up on, you know, their math skills, their writing skills. Um, so that's another example of a student we would have take this program versus a diploma program to start. And then finally, we, we do get a lot of international students coming to this program 
who for whatever reason weren't able to get into some of the other business programs and needed this as again a stepping stone or a foundation so that's really what this program is designed for um, i have had students you know they're they're in um, level one and they've uh, you know done their first round of tests and they've got you know 100 percent on all their tests and and they're thinking why am i in this program well I, I usually try to advise students if I can talk to them before they come to Fanshawe and ask them questions like, well, how did you do in high school? And are you coming back to school after a long time? Things like that will help you and help me determine how I should advise you. So I hope that was helpful. I know we always talk about program fit, right, Penny? So it's mm -hmm. all about mm -hmm. sort of researching the program, understanding what you're getting into and where you want to go so that yeah. when you land, you're, you know, you're exactly in the right <laughs> spot. So that's... Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. Um, what would you say, Penny, what would you say is the um, the majority of graduates from your program, where would they go? Would they oh. go on to another business program or? Well, uh, you know, I, I don't have that data, uh, Brad. However, based on my experience with the students and, and um, you know, what they've told me and I've run into them in the halls, I think a lot of the students that graduate from this program do go on. In fact, I've had a couple go on into the degree programs. So it, you know, it just depends where you're at in your life and, uh, you know, whether you're just starting out an academic career and you want more or you just want to have a little certificate to say, you have something in business and maybe you're already working in business right and you you don't have any formal education in business you just want to take a certificate so it it, it really varies it's it a does. Bag. Yeah, yeah for sure I, I know i can tell you i'm a graduate of the business marketing program and <laughs> you know there's there's so many options there and and a lot of the the courses that you talked about in those skills you know i use every single day yeah. Um, you know, whether it be math or communications or whatever, it's they're they're all so essential, right? So yeah. um, so that's good stuff. And and there's so many pathways. You touched on that as well, you know, in mm -hmm. within the college um and, and without uh, outside of the college as well. So yeah. Okay, so we've got about five minutes left. I don't see any other questions okay. uh coming in here. Was there anything else that you wanted to cover, Penny, that you could think of? Um we're we're working on you know making some changes to the program to help students who do want to uh, just um, take this take the certificate and then go out and work. We're working on a couple of um, relationships with some nonprofit organizations to give the students some experience at working uh, somewhere. We do have a relationship with the Boys and Girls Club right now where we've helped out with their uh, Christmas toy drive in the past, right? We've, we've collect, we've done some fundraising and helped that organization uh, provide gifts for children. Um, we're not doing that this year and we're actually working on, as I said, developing more relationships with business, with some businesses to hopefully help our graduates maybe in some placements um, so I, I am working on that for the future uh, we're also working on possibly adding not this year uh, I was hoping we were going to be able to add some hours to the program for a couple of these uh, second level courses um, in, in, in ones that students struggle with uh, accounting and um, the math course but I'm not able to do that for this year but maybe next year so we'll we'll see um, I don't, I haven't made or proposed a lot of changes yet, but the one thing I would like to add is, you know, and I am biased because I'm the coordinator of this program, but I feel that the instructors that you have in this program, they are so dedicated to helping you. And uh, I know firsthand um, how great that can make a student feel if they know that their instructor really cares about them. Um, I can, you know, rhyme off a few of the names of the instructors. Uh, they would be embarrassed if I said how good they are, but they really are good. They they are here to help you, and uh, you know, very much available. The online world for us was really a struggle because this program has never been offered online, and I'm very proud of the faculty team that I have that they they went the extra mile, as they say you know, to make this so that students would be successful, so. 
Good stuff. And what would you, if a student's looking at this program, and, and I think you touched on this a little bit, but um, if they're coming in straight out of high school in terms of recommended preparation, what are some good things to work on? And even mature students, like you said, what are some things that maybe they can do before they get here that, um, and not necessarily in a formal course, but just even some self-preparation to, to get ready for the course? Okay, the one thing, especially because we're online, we will be online for the winter term, and who knows, you know, your computer that you're using, your laptop, the software that you have on your computer, make sure that you follow the college guidelines to have proper equipment because students, if you're not really computer savvy per se, make sure you've at least got the resources that you need. Um, that's one thing I would tell people. And I would also tell high school students because I think sometimes when you go through high school, I don't know, I haven't I haven't been in high school for many, many years, Brad, but um, I know that deadlines tend to get extended, extended, extended. We don't extend deadlines. So make sure you manage your time. Uh, it's a real shock for first semester students. If they've just come out of high school, they've got six courses, you know, they've got all these things that are due here, due there. Make sure you, you're you, you keep your calendar, your Fanshawe online calendar up to date. You're aware of due dates because if you just, you know, go to your instructor and say, oh, I forgot that that was due today. Can I hand it in next week? You know, I, I'm thinking the answer is going to be no. For the mature student, I, the time uh, management, if you've got a busy family, um, if you're not used to studying, right? It, it's it's a different it's a different world for you when you're back at school. So, but honestly, I find the mature students when they take this program, they love it because it's it's you know providing um, a whole new world for them, and they seem to be better able to manage their time than my students that come in from high school. But you know that could just be a personal thing. But anyway, it's the time management. Time management is key. Yeah, and, and there's lots of resources too, I know, for yeah. mature students and students coming in straight out of high school and in between. Lots of resources to help you in terms of how to study for college, how to get ready, um, yes. when you're, you know, and when you're here, how to manage everything. And uh, we have an excellent, uh, excellent services that way. So there's, and that's part of when you're looking at a program, make sure you're researching um, not just the program, but the school you're going to, what are the services they offer, you know, the, the sort of the whole experience. Um, plays into it as well, right? So you want to make sure that you have all your bases covered, and if you need help, that there's going to be help there for you. That's that's super important. For sure. Well. Yeah. So. For sure. I don't see any other questions here. Um, so if there wasn't anything else, Penny, that that you wanted to add, um, I think, I think we can. Good. Yeah, great. Excellent. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, Brad. You you did a great job of <laughs> moderating yeah. this. Yeah, we'll pat each other great job, back. right? <laughs> and thanks to those who did attend. Um, I I look forward to hearing from you. Uh, whether you decide this on taking this program or you just have some questions um, in general. So take care and everybody stay safe. Great stuff. So I'm just going to share um, here uh, on my screen. Uh, Penny had talked about this before, but uh, this email address is myfuture at fanshawc.ca. So this takes you to our recruitment team. They can help you out with all kinds of questions outside of the program. Um, Penny had mentioned her email address as well if you had questions about the program specifically. Uh, and then our recruitment team can cover everything from admissions to financial aid to the entire campus as well. And you can also book an appointment with them. So sort of like a Zoom session with them. Um, if you go to fanshawc.ca slash connect, they can help you out there. So, so thanks, Penny. Thanks, everyone, for tuning Thank in. We you. really appreciate it. Uh, make sure you do your research, keep digging, um, and stay safe. Take, Take care. care. Bye.